honesty, I think that Tom Hardy is probably one of the greatest actors of our generation. I absolutely love the guy. I think that at least 95% of the movies that he's in and that I've seen, I can enjoy from beginning to end because he's such a captivating presence and he's such a... He, just everything he does just kind of oozes out of the screen and just really grabs your attention, you know, whether it's action, whether it's comedy whether it's just being sincere and emotional, just everything the guy does is just absolutely incredible. And the, his range, I don't think it gets spoken about enough just how, how good the man is. I know a lot of people around the world love him, but I just think he needs to be spoken about a lot, lot more. I think he's incredible. And, uh, you know, I just, I adore the man. I think, I just think he's amazing. Not just on the screen, though. There's so much stuff behind the scenes talking about what a nice guy he is and what, you know, what all the nice things that he does for people and, and you know, just his friends and his family and everyone around him always have nice things to say about him. Now, with that being said, I'd like to bring you 10 fascinating facts about Tom Hardy. It's not just about depth. You, know, you need the simplest version of the idea in order for it to grow naturally in your subject's mind. And it's a very subtle art. So what is this idea that you need to plan? Number 10. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you're British, you may remember uh, the show The Big Breakfast. It was very big in the 90s. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But Tom Hardy was on The Big Breakfast in 1998. But it was before his kind of acting took off. He was in drama school. Um, he was learning to be an actor. But he was there to take part in a modelling contest, which he won. So, yeah, in 1998, very young uh, Tom Hardy won a modelling contest. But, of course, he did because he's such a gorgeous man. Our last male finalist is from the London Hebrew. Please welcome Tom Hardy. Tom is a 22-year-old, 20-year-old Virgo. He's a drama student in London and says his acting heroes are Gary Oldman and Stephen Burkhoff. Tom would like to write and direct his own short films. And he says he loves Eddie Izzard but hates football. That's right. So, yeah, later on in 1998, after he won uh, that, that modelling contest on The Big Breakfast, he dropped out of uh, drama school. He dropped out of the London Drama Centre uh, because he was cast in Steven Spielberg produced Band of Brothers. So his first kind of big major acting role was in that iconic TV show Band of Brothers, which was universally loved. And that's where he kind of made his big break in acting. Isn't that just incredible that he goes from you know, a modelling contest, dropping out of drama school, being in one of the greatest TV shows of all time. Incredible. Uh, it's about why we're fighting the war. Why are we fighting the war, Janovic? It seems that the Germans are bad. Very bad. Number eight. Now, this is this is kind of widely known that um, during his teen years, he was very rebellious. He had a bit of a bit of a time during his teens shall we say he had a major uh, crack and alcohol addiction which is is very sad to hear but it's also very great to hear that he turned his life around and that he made positive steps and became the man that we all know today he checked into a rehab in 2002 quite late in the year and since early 2003 he has been sober which is incredible it's a great achievement to kind of Realise the bad stuff that's going on in your life, wiping them away and beginning on this incredible, amazing career. All these months you kept me close, you were using me. Playing with me for your own callous ends as you do all men. Number seven, one of his most well-known and incredible performances that he's done he's playing Charles Bronson in the biopic about Charles Bronson which is called Bronson now obviously just before that he was quite slender he wasn't as big as what he is known to be now but he went on to gain 42 pounds packing on you know muscle to portray that character now, the way he said in interviews that he done this he uh he was eating chocolate and pizza, probably not the, the best diet to go on, but if that's what you need to do to pack on the pounds, then why not? He said he used to lift his friend up and down the stairs on his back. Strange. 
and play an Xbox. So yeah, to portray one of the most you know notorious people in Britain to pack on that muscle to look intimidating, he ate pizza and chocolate and played on the Xbox. Who needs a gym? Fucking loonies, they're great, mate. But well, they're fucking loonies, aren't they? Number six, when he was growing up, he wanted to be a rapper. That's not, that's, that's incredible enough. That's mad enough just to even think about that concept. But he even had a record contract. His manager also managed the Fugees. The Fugees, you know, one of the biggest bands of the 90s and the early 2000s. He had a record contract with the manager of the Fugees. Almost impossible to believe. Even more so, he even made a couple of albums. If there's no love, there's no life. Surrounded by these lives and lies. In this world, I hold my wife to my chest in the night. I press her face close to mine. Wipe the tears from her eyes. I don't need to see my baby cry. Number five, he has a curled pinky. Uh, it kind of looks like this. I can't really stretch my finger out properly, but... You'll see in the picture just above uh, because of an incident with a kitchen knife in in his earlier years. Now, because he he didn't really he didn't go to the hospital and get it sorted properly. It kind of healed in that position. And yeah, ever since then, he's not been able to to, you know, put his pinky finger out properly, which is incredible to think about. Because I've never really noticed it until I heard this fact and I've gone through and looked at some pictures. And yeah, it's incredible to think that I'd never noticed that before. Well, the examination of the victim's body and witness testimony show multiple contusions with bruisings and lacerations to the torso. In keeping with this testimony, we believe the cause of death was indeed a tragic accident. Number four, he was in drama school with Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, that is just insane. Not only did they both appear in Band of Brothers, they went to drama school together. I I had no idea that that kind of friendship even existed. And it's just, it's mad to think about when you, when you hear about famous people and some of the other people that they went to school with, it's just, it's, it's insanity, just how small the world really is. When you see him next, you tell him for me, yeah, that I say, fuck Charlie, right? And fuck his brother, yeah? Fuck that fat Georgie Cornell that hangs out with him. Fuck your face. Yeah? Yeah. Number three, his acting idol whilst he was growing up, the person that he idolised, the person that, you know, gave him the inspiration to become an actor and do what he's doing, is Gary Oldman. It's very understandable. Gary Oldman's one of the greatest actors, again, of this and the last generation. He's absolutely amazing. But he's also gone on to work with Gary Oldman four times. And the most obvious one is, of course, The Dark Knight Rises, when Tom Hardy played Bane, Gary Oldman was uh, Captain Gordon. But they also appeared together in Child 44, Lawless, which is a very underrated movie, in my opinion, and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. So, yeah, not only is he enamoured with Gary Oldman, but he's gone on to work with him four times. He does. We will no longer bow before anyone as slain. Of the Romulans and not your mighty federation. We are a race bred for war and conquest. Number two, his father is comedy writer and novelist Edward Hardy, and his mother Anne is an artist. So, yeah, you can kind of see where he gets his, I want to say, artistry from, where he gets that kind of performing persona from when you grow up in that kind of environment you you kind of you, you learn from what you grow up in and he became an extension of that amazing be british yes i am it's a crying shame why oh no reason well, you never like the grace nor the humility to lose like a man do you and number one probably my most favorite fact about tom hardy he is a real life superhero yes uh, i'm gonna read this verbatim because it's it's kind of hard to explain properly. But he chased down 
and caught a moped thief in 2017. A, a person on a moped drove past and snatched, I believe it was a purse. Tom Hardy chased that person down and captured them. But not only that, not only is that heroic enough, the fact that he'd done that on foot, he later reached out to the criminal uh, to help him and to kind of get him on the right track to help him become a better person. Superhero in two completely different kind of ways, but nonetheless, you know, equally amazing. What a guy. And not as serious as yours, I fear. Let's not stand on ceremony here. So yeah, there you have it. There's 10 fascinating facts about maybe my favourite actor um, and one of the greatest actors of our generation, Mr. Thomas Hardy. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there's anything else that I missed out in the comments down below. And I will see you soon. Goodbye. You're my hand to hold it tight as I can. These are memories to die for. People to die for. These are real lives to live for. People to die for. The real people to fight for. The real people.